Hello everyone from Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort. We are checking in today for a one night staycation. We've always wanted to stay here and we said, what better time than now? They're having like 40% off. Yeah, and I've never stayed on property at Universal at any of the hotels. So this is my very first time and I always said I wanted to stay here because they have a really awesome pool and a lazy river. Yeah, so we're gonna take you guys along. We'll show you guys our room. We'll give you a full tour of the resort and we're just gonna have a nice 24 hours here at Cabana Bay. So here we are. We just stepped inside Cabana Bay. When you first walk in, you're met with these giant palm trees over here in the lobby area. There's a whole bunch of places to sit. If you wanna check in while the rest of your family has a seat, over to the right is the check-in area. This is where you will come and get your room key and get situated. And next to the check-in areas, there is a luggage services stand as well as an Avis car rental. So if you wanted to rent a car or pick one up while you're here, you can do that at Cabana Bay. And on the other side of the room, from the check-in area, there is the Swizzle Lounge. And it looks like this is a bar. And they have a bartender over here. It looks like you can get some drinks. Nobody there right now. Might be a good place to come grab a drink. And then right next to the Swizzle Lounge is the Universal Gift Shop. And they have a lot. We walked past this a couple of minutes ago and there's like anything you could possibly need. So we're gonna go inside, just give you guys a brief overview of what they have. We hit with some Harry Potter right when we first walk in. They have all your Hogwarts gear if you're going to the parks and you wanna dress up. They have all of the house robes. They have, I think, all the wands or a good amount of the wands that you can buy. And back here, there's a whole bunch more of Harry Potter Wizarding World merchandise. You have your classic Universal Studios merchandise. I've been eyeing this shirt for the longest time. Just still haven't bought it yet. And then they have a whole section of Cabana Bay specific merchandise and some of it is really cute. Like I was just pointing at this tank top. It's really nice. I like that. And they have two different, oh no, this is a robe. I was going to say they have two different towels. They have the robe here and then the towel is on the other side. Yep. And then they have these mugs. Cabana Bay mugs as well. Here's another one of the Cabana Bay shirts. I like this one a lot. It's kind of like a ringer t-shirt. It says Universal's Cabana Bay Beach Resort, Florida. They have one of the beach towels here. This is really cool. This is very retro looking. I like that a lot. They have some pins and keychains as well. They also have a lanyard, which is pretty cool. So if you're a pass holder or you want to put your park ticket in there, you can use one of the lanyards. And then we're big fans of getting pins of the resorts that we stay at. So I think before we leave, we'll have to pick up the Cabana Bay pin and add it to our collection. They have another Cabana Bay Beach Resort shirt. This is a women's cut, and this is $35. And then they have a men's or a unisex t-shirt for $25. It has the Cabana Bay Beach Resort logo on the front. And then on the back, there it is. There's Cabana Bay. And also wanted to call out that they have a full service Starbucks here inside of the resort as well. So if you wanna get your coffee in the morning before you head to the parks or any time throughout the day, there's a full Starbucks here. So here we are, room 6445. See what we got. First time here at Cabana Bay. We got just a standard room. Oh, this is nice. I like the colors in here. Very like 50s and 60s, very on theme for what the room is. Very nice. And we did just get a standard room, so we do have a very nice view of the parking garage across the way. There is Aventura. And then actually, if we look down here to the left, you can see some of Islands of Adventure. You have the Jurassic Park River Adventure show building on the left. There is Hogwarts Castle right in the middle. You can see the top hat of the Velocicoaster. So not a bad view. We kind of have a slight theme park view even though that's not what we paid for. So we made out pretty good. So we'll give you a quick room tour over here. So when you first walk in, the door is right there. There is a closet here that has an ironing board, some hangers. There's also a safe over there if you wanna put away any valuables. It's like there's an extra pillow and a blanket. And then directly across is the bathroom. They have one sink, of course, with some towels and everything else you need. There is a hair dryer that is on the wall here. And then sticking with the theming, they have like some old school soaps. So the soap here is Zest, which is funny. We haven't seen that in a long, long time. You have your mirror over here. And then you come into the shower. There is your shower. 
you have your toilet right here in the same room as well. And then there is some more like classic soaps right there. And then like we showed you, this is the standard room. It comes with two queen beds. You can see the artwork on the walls is very vintage, like retro looking artwork. And then you have your dresser over here. It looks like there's four drawers. And is that where the fridge is? Yep, it's a mini fridge. You have a mini fridge right under there. You have your TV over here that's showing all different universal highlights right now. There is a little tiny coffee maker with some coffee if you wanna have some in the morning before you head downstairs. You have your little table over here as well. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, I like it. I like the theming. I think it's really cool how it's like old school. And I'm just looking at the map that they gave Matt and there's two different pools. This one over here has like the splash zone and a water slide for like kids. And there's also cabanas that you can rent. And then over here is where the Lazy River and I think like the main pool is. I'm really excited to check out the Lazy River. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna grab some lunch now. We're gonna figure out where we wanna go and then we will change and head over to the pool soon. So there are a couple of different places that you can eat. One of them is the Bayliner Diner. So we have to decide if we wanna do that for lunch or if we're gonna save that for dinner later on. But we are both very, very hungry. We wanna check out at least a couple of the different food options that are here at the resort. So we're gonna make our way back towards the lobby and grab some lunch. So as we are walking to the Bayside Diner, which is a, the food court that I believe we're gonna be eating at, look how pretty it is. You have all these different palm trees, all this different greenery. We're passing by one of the pools now. This is the pool that is closest to our room. And it looks like I see the hideaway bar straight ahead. So here we are, we are inside of the Bayliner Diner. It's not an actual diner, it's a food court, but sticking with the theming, they decided to call it a diner. It looks like all the food options are straight ahead. Let's go see what they have. And they do have refillable cups here at Cabana Bay. One day is $10.50, two days is $12, and three days is $16.50. Look at the design on this. Look at her hair, oh my gosh, that is truly from a different time period. They have some grab and go options, like some snacks. They have a make your own s'mores kit. So I'm assuming they do s'mores here, either nightly or some nights. There's also a grab and go option if you just wanted to grab something quick. They have some fruits, some milks, some pre-made you know, sandwiches and salads and cheesecakes. They even have alcohol over here. They have cans of beer, they have some wines, and they even have bottled wine. So there's four different food stations to eat from. They have the grill, there's an international eats, there is the Delicioso Pizza, and then there is a deli all the way at the far end. And also, they have a salad bar here as well. It looks like they're all pre-made salads. So it is time for lunch, and from the International Favorites booth, I got the shrimp stir-fry. It's shrimp and stir-fried vegetables in General Tao sauce on a bed of rice, and this was $14.75, and I have to say, for a food court in a prime value hotel, this actually looks pretty good. And I got the zesty chicken sandwich for $12.99. It's crispy chicken breast on a toasted bun with trimmings and signature sauce. So I have to say, for like a food court style meal at a prime value resort, that shrimp stir fry was really, really good. I wish it had a little bit more shrimp in it, but overall, it was excellent. And it was like fairly priced. It was a lot of food, a lot of rice, a lot of different vegetables in there. That was really good. If you're trying to eat something a little bit on the healthier side, this isn't like super healthy, but if you're trying to find a healthier option, I recommend that. It was really good. And if you're looking for not so much of a healthy <laughs> option, get the chicken sandwich. It was pretty good. Nothing to like write home about, just like your basic chicken sandwich, but it was actually really big. Like I couldn't even finish it all. It was a big piece of chicken. The special sauce didn't really have that much flavor. At least I couldn't really like taste what it was. So I wish there was a little bit something else. I really like the pickles that were on it and the fries were good too, but yeah, it was okay. And at the back of the diner, they had this amazing mural of all these different characters from the 50s and 60s all the different hairstyles, the clothes. Look at this one's hair. That is so vintage right there. I love this. I wish they had this like on a t-shirt. So the theming of the diner is really cool. It kind of reminds me of like the sci-fi dine-in over at Hollywood Studios. They play some old school like commercials. They have Gumby on the screens, Etch-a-Sketch. And all the colors in here really pop too. You have like the red chairs, the blue, 
And I just love everything that they're playing on the screens while you're eating. So when we were pulling up to the lobby to get checked in, I saw that the Bayliner Diner was right here and I passed all these really cool retro cars. I thought that was a really cool touch. Yeah, I mean, they have this at Mel's Dine-In over yeah. in the parks, but it's cool that they have like all these vintage cars here. They have a sign now open. Shakes Malt Shop has shakes, sundaes, smoothies, baked goods located next to the main dining room. You might have to make a stop over at Shakes later tonight. And upstairs they have a bowling alley called Galaxy Bowl. It's open from 12 p.m. till midnight and they do serve some food. So we made a reservation for later tonight. We're gonna come bowling, we're gonna have some dinner. So right behind me is Galaxy Bowl, which is their bowling alley here at Cabana Bay. And Matt and I were saying that's so cool that they have it right at the resort. So obviously you could bowl there and they also have food. So I think we're gonna go there later and maybe have some dinner, do a little bit of bowling. What do you think? Yeah, sounds good. And located right next to the bowling alley is the Game-O-Rama, which is the arcade. Looks like it's a pretty decent sized arcade. We'll probably come back in here a little bit later on when we go bowling. And the gym here at Cabana Bay is the Jack LaLanne Physical Fitness Studio. Like we said, this is themed after the 50s and the 60s. Jack LaLanne was a big fitness icon back in the day. And that's funny that they named the gym after him. Let's go inside and see what we could see. Ready. I can't wait. We're all changed. I'm going to switch out to the GoPro, but before we do so, I want to show you guys my shirt. If you're an old school Universal fan, I think you'll appreciate this. So if you're an OG Universal fan, you'll recognize this shirt. I have a confrontation tank top on. This was a t-shirt. I had to cut the sleeves off because it was a little too small, but confrontation, if you didn't know, was where Revenge of the Mummy is now. This was the original opening day attraction. I figured what better place to wear it than here at Universal. So we came down by the pool. This is one of two pools. We are right outside of the Americana building and we are right outside of the Continental building as well. This is the pool that has the Lazy River and I'm very excited to get over there and check that out. Also, I really like that this section of the chairs area has sand in it so it feels like you're at the beach, and it's just this only back section back here. The pool's straight ahead, and we're gonna get in there in just a few minutes, but I think we found a pretty good spot for it being kind of mid-afternoon. It is very, very hot out. It's so hot, I can't wait to get in the pool. <laughs> we have to stop at the hideaway bar. Need water or something. we're gonna get some ice water, yeah. <laughs> so the pool bar that's over by this pool is the hideaway bar and grill. And here is the hideaway bar. It really is hidden away. It's kind of tucked almost underground. Full service bar over here. They have some sport games going on. Nice place. And here we are, here is the pool. It's pretty big. Like I said, this is one of two pools. We're outside the Americana and the Continental. We gotta get in, it's way too hot. Okay, so I literally walked right in and I mean, it's refreshing to a degree, but it's so warm, the water. <laughs> like it's not even like that refreshing because it's so hot out. And one of the coolest things about the Cabana Bay pool area is the fact that they have a lazy river. So here we are. We are inside the lazy river. We're gonna take a lap around. You do have to either bring your own or buy a float. And we're not gonna do that today because we don't want to buy a float, but we'll take a lap around on foot. Who needs a float? <laughs> As we're in the Lazy River, just want to show you how close we are to Volcano Bay. This building right here is part of Volcano Bay. It's just on the other side of the fence. And just like that, we made it back to the pool. A cute, quick little Lazy River ride. And right next to the hideaway bar, there is a pretty decently sized hot tub. There's also a chairlift over here if you need the extra assistance. But we're gonna get in, even though it's like 90 degrees outside today. It feels good. It feels good to relax, even though 
it's probably just as hot in the hot tub, water temperature wise, yeah. than the air is right now. It's still nice, and we were saying the pools are open until 10 o'clock tonight, yeah. so maybe after we like bowl and everything, we could come back and go swimming at night. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Not a bad way to end the night. We'll probably get to see the buildings lit up as we're sitting yeah. here. It's pretty cool. And we've only been here a few hours, and we haven't like slept in the room or anything yet, but I will say for the price, I think Cabana Bay is a pretty good deal. It's considered one of their prime value hotels. They have some really good rates going on right now for annual pass holders and Florida residents. We were able to get this room like 40% off and it only cost us like, I think what, 145 or 149 for the night. And it's a pretty good deal. There's no full service sit down restaurant, but that's standard. Like if you go over and stay at the All Stars over at Disney or Pop Century, something that's comparable to this, you're not gonna have a restaurant over there either. You're just gonna have the food court, but I like it. I think it's really nice too. I'm glad that we stayed here. I like the theming so far. They have a lot of room at the pool. Like we were nervous about getting a seat so late in the day, but like Matt showed you guys, they had that whole area on the sand and there was like a bunch of chairs still available. So there are two pools at Cabana Bay. We just left the pool we were at, and now we're at the pool that is right by the lobby. Right through those doors is the lobby and the check-in area, and then they have another big pool over here, so we're gonna come check this one out. Now, it wouldn't be Cabana Bay without actual cabanas that you're able to rent, and they have a whole bunch here that you're able to rent. It says you rent them at the Atomic Tonic, and that is one of the bars that's over here, so it looks like you can Go over there, rent a cabana if you want. So right in front of us is the pool, and if you turn this way, this is Atomic Tonic, which is the walk-up bar for this pool. So they have the hideaway over on the other side, over here, Atomic Tonic. And here is the main pool, or the other pool, I should say. It's pretty big. It looks like it's bigger than the other one is, but it's nice that there's two options depending on where you're staying. You have two different pools to choose from. They just made everybody get out of the pool. Yeah, I said, I hope there's not a floating turd somewhere. <laughs> they have this whole grassy area. It's currently set up for a movie. I think Transformers is the movie tonight and they show a different movie every night of the week. And if you notice these rooms here are the types of rooms where you enter from the outside. So typical like motel style rooms. And lastly, over here by the pool, they have a sitting area with a fire pit in the middle and they roast s'mores. They sell s'mores kits over in the food court and you could come here at night and make s'mores. So we're back up in the room now. We're gonna take showers before we head down for our bowling reservation at Galaxy Bowl. We're also gonna get some food there. That's in about an hour. So we have a little bit of time to just kind of relax, freshen up, and then we're gonna head down there. But I really enjoyed the pools. It was really relaxing. I like the theming of this resort a lot. I really, really dig it. I love Pop Century over at Walt Disney World, and this is kind of like Universal's version of Pop Century, but everything so far has been pretty good. My only thing is certain things could be a little tiny bit cleaner. It's not dirty by any means, but there's just some things that need some freshening up. You'll notice some things like in the hallways, like a couple little chips here and there, just very, very small things like that. But overall, we're really, really enjoying it. We had a nice, relaxing afternoon, and it's gonna be a fun night here too. So here we are, we made our way down to Galaxy Bowl. We're gonna go check in. We did make a reservation for this. You can do walk-ups, but reservations are recommended. So let's go get checked in. And before we head inside, they have a menu out here. So just wanted to give you a brief overview of what the menu is. It's not the largest menu in the world, because it is you know, a bowling alley, but they do have a few different appetizers to choose from, as well as a couple of different sandwich options and salads as well and of course a BYO burger. We've been together nine years. Yeah. Have we ever bowled together? Yeah we have in New Jersey. I don't remember that at all. Yeah we've gone to a bowling alley in New Jersey I think maybe like once or twice. I was gonna say we'll find out who the better bowler is. I'll tell you right now it's gonna be you. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm, I'm not, not the best bowler. I'm not that good either. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. So here we are we checked in we got our bowling shoes we are over here on lane number five. There's plenty of seating. And they even give you a little table because you can order food, which is what we're gonna be doing. But lots and lots of seating. And then there are the bowling lanes. We got some music playing. We got the light up pins. It's gonna be a fun couple of hours here. They even have a little cubby in the table for you to put your shoes while you're bowling. Look at these bad boys. Bowling shoes are the funniest shoes here. I think you guys never wear. All right, we started. I got a nine. Alex is up next. Don't get me on my first one. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. All right, let's see what you got. 
There she goes. Oh, oh not bad, not bad. <laughs> right, we're halfway through this game. I'm up by 11 right now, but Alice is catching up. I did it! I didn't catch it on See video, that? but you just got a strike. I did! <laughs> Finally! Nice! The first strike of the game. And when you're over 30, you need to warm up when you're bowling, because I feel like I hurt my arm already. <laughs> That's like the hardest shot to hit. Here we go. I finished with a 76, which is absolutely terrible. <laughs> we never said we were good. Here's Alice's 10th frame. She gonna get the win. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, strike! Nice! Wow. I'm just getting lucky. Yeah, that's like your third of the game. I just said to Matt, I don't even aim. I just let the ball go. <laughs> so I won. Game number two, and we're gonna take a break and eat our food. Alice got the grilled chicken Caesar salad. I just did the build your own burger. And then we also got the stuffed pretzel knots. Comes with some mustard on the side. Typical like bowling alley, like bar type of food. Nothing gourmet, but we'll dig in and we'll see how it is. So we're done bowling. The food was actually decent. Nothing crazy, like nothing gourmet by any means. Typical like bar or like bowling alley food, but it hit the spot. And we had a couple good uh, bowling games. Yeah. You beat me once. I'm so glad that we came. We haven't bowled in years. years. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And for us to bowl, it was 1975 each because it was Saturday and Sunday. If you come other days of the week before, I think 4 p.m., it's 17 and change, so you get a little bit of a discount, but figure about $20 each to bowl, plus the food. So we're back in the lobby now, and I just wanted to call out that they have a Universal Vacation Planning Center where you can purchase and pick up your park tickets. You do it right here in the hotel, instead of doing it over at the parks with the crazy lines. So we came outside and we came across a map of the entire Cabana Bay property. So if you don't know where you're going, you could just find a map. And that is exactly what we're doing. We just left the lobby and there is a walkway that takes you over to Islands of Adventure and City Walk. So we wanted to take a walk over there just to see how long of a walk it is. And I think it's somewhere over here. So we're gonna go find it. So we are heading in the right direction. We found a sign that says theme parks, more resort hotels, and Universal City Walk. So I think it's gonna be this way. So we are gonna time this walk. The front desk said it is about 15 to 20 minutes. Time is 8.43. We'll see what time we get over to City Walk. It's a nice walkway. Like, at least like you're on like a nice, like private path and they have lighting and benches if you need to like take a break. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Or should I say the lighthouse? at the end of the tunnel. We're almost there. Okay, so it took us about 17 minutes. We timed it on Matt's phone. It was a nice walk though. Like I said, they have benches along the way that you could stop and sit at if you get tired. It's a lighted pathway, so we walked at night and you could see exactly where you're going and there's enough signs. So yeah, it was nice, but it was a little bit long. Probably wasn't the best idea to come right at nine o'clock and do this when Islands lets out. And you guys know we're here all the time, but it feels like we're on vacation because we're staying here. It doesn't feel like all the other times we come. It's kind of weird, hard to explain, but the fact that we're staying on property makes it feel like we're on vacation. And we walked here, and we're gonna take the bus back. We're looking for number eight. I have never been over here before. Never been on the bus platform. We drive past it all the time when we're coming in, because you come in usually from over there. But here we are. And actually have two buses here waiting. They got a Mears coach and then a regular Universal bus. And just like that, we made it back to Cabana Bay. It was only about a five or six minute bus ride. You were saying all that walking worked up your appetite. Yeah, I think I deserve something from the malt shop now. Ooh, a little uh, shake perhaps? Maybe. So we're back inside Cabana Bay now, but we hope you guys found that helpful. We wanted to do the walk just so you know what to expect if you're gonna walk from Cabana Bay to the theme parks. And then we took the bus back it's just to give you a sense of what the bus situation is like. Again, the walk is gonna take you anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. It's a nice walk, 
and then the bus is really, really quick. We only had to wait about five minutes for the bus to arrive, and then it was about a five minute bus ride back to Cabana Bay. So all in all, very, very easy as far as the bus transportation goes. Oh, there it is. There it is. The PB&J shake. Ooh, I just got strawberry. Flavor. Did you? Yeah. Okay, we both took a sip and we said we only taste the peanut butter. Yeah, I just got the strawberry. Oh, look at that bad boy. Wow. There's also Reese's Pieces in it. It's nice out here at night with everything lit up. And right behind Matt, you can see the volcano from Volcano Bay, and it's all lit up blue. It's really cool. Really pretty out here. They have all the palm trees all lit up. Very relaxing. See, they got the buildings all lit up over here. It's really pretty. Look at Volcano Bay straight ahead. I can't get over that view. And just like that, we are back in the room. It was a fun night. We hung out by the pool for a little bit, kind of just enjoyed the vibe, enjoyed the atmosphere. It was really nice. I yeah. enjoyed my time here. Me too. I had a really fun time. I love that we got to bowl. We got to try some of the different food places. And I really liked my milkshake to, to end the night. Yeah, that was really, really good. <laughs> Lengthy line, but definitely well worth it. Like a really good way to end the night. And what better thing to do on vacation at nighttime than to get ice cream. <laughs> yeah. I feel exactly. like that's like a standard thing that everybody does when they're on vacation. But like I said, we had a really good time here at Cabana Bay. We are gonna go to sleep tonight and we will check in with you guys in the morning before we head home. But overall, a really, really great trip. I'm glad we decided to do this. Yeah, I think this is a really good option if you guys are looking for some place to stay on Universal property, something on the cheaper end, but yeah. still like a really great themed hotel. So with that, we are gonna go to sleep. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. So it is the next morning. We're heading over to the car, but wanted to stop by the Bayliner Diner just to see what kind of different breakfast options they have. We're not gonna get anything, just wanna take a look. Over here at Sizzlin' Good, looks like they have your standard buttermilk pancakes and French toast. Ooh, that French toast does look really good. Then they have your traditional breakfast sides. And then over here at Delicioso, which is normally the pizza place, they have a make your own Belgian waffles. And then over at the International Eats, this is where you can make your own omelet if you're looking for eggs. Over at the Delicatessen, this is where they have some like kind of breakfast sandwich items. They have a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant, a smoked salmon bagel, flatbread wrap, and a yogurt parfait. And there is the smoked salmon bagel. That bacon, egg, and cheese croissant actually does look pretty good. And with that, it is time to head home. We have to go feed Bunny, so we have to get back yeah. and make sure we feed him. But it was a fun one night stay. I really enjoyed doing this. We have to do this more often. Yeah, I was saying, what's gonna be like our next staycation? I don't know. There's a lot of Universal Resorts that we both haven't stayed at, so stay tuned. Maybe we'll do another one of these. Yeah. Um, and even at Disney, too, there's still some resorts that we haven't stayed at. So. Yeah, and they have some deals going on, too, now, I think, yeah. for pass holders mm -hmm. and, and whatnot. But yeah. We really enjoyed Cabana Bay. The theming of the resort is awesome. We really like the amenities. The pools were really nice. Yeah. And we loved hanging out outside at night. There's a lot of different things to do. You can buy the s'mores kit and just hang out and make some s'mores at night. It was awesome. And the food options were decent, like nothing crazy, but you have to keep in mind this is a prime value resort. Yeah, and I think this is a really good option for people that are trying to save a little bit of money, yeah. but still wanting to stay on Universal property and enjoy all the perks that it comes with. So yeah, like Matt said, the food options were okay, nothing outstanding, but I really do like the theming of this resort. Yeah, I agree. So again, we can highly recommend this if you're looking to save a little bit of money next time you're coming here to Universal. This is substantially cheaper than if you were to stay at like the Portofino Bay or the Hard Rock. Yeah. Completely different category, but we had a really, really nice time here. So we hope you guys enjoyed coming along for our Cabana Bay staycation. If you did, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel down below so you don't miss out on all of our future videos to come. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.